desktop app controls how your computer interacts with Transporter. You can open it via your Start menu in Windows or the menu bar in OS X. The application looks like this. In the menu bar, you will see the Transporter icon. Click it with your mouse and you will see the Connected Desktop App's main window. Next to the blue icon at the top is a report of the number of changed files being pushed to your Transporter. Here, everything is up to date. If there were changes, it would tell you how many changes there were to be processed. The next section reports file transfer activity. Desktop activity reports files being transferred between Transporter and the connected desktop app. Transporter activity reports files being transferred between your Transporter and others. Controlling your cursor over either of these menu items will reveal a display showing the file being transferred. The next menu, named Connected Folders, lets you quickly view folders that you can access. Clicking on one opens that folder. The item named Transporters shows you your transporters. Click on one to get more information about it. Clicking the Preferences tab opens a window for you to control how your Mac works with Transporter. The Connected Data Preferences panel has four panels. Let's start with General. Clicking a box will toggle between turning on or off the option. An active option has a checkmark displayed. The options are Start Connected Desktop on Login. If active, this will automatically start the app when you log in to your computer. The next option is Create Local Copies of New Connected Folders. If active, this will create a folder on your computer that keeps a synchronized copy of files on the transporter. Selecting this option sets the default behavior for new connected folders that you create. If you are concerned about using too much space on your computer, then you can set a size limit. The desktop app will only create a local copy of the folder if it is smaller than this size. If the folder is larger than the limit, you will only access it via the network. For maximum performance, we recommend creating local copies of folders for active projects that you are working on. The Show Connected Data folder in Finder Sidebar will add an item to your Finder Sidebar in the Devices section. Using this provides an easy way to open your connected folders. Notification options control how your Mac reports status information to you. If the Show File Download Notifications option is selected, then when a file arrives, your Mac's Notification Center will notify you when new files arrive. As a convenience, you can either open the file or the folder that the new file is in by clicking on the notification. The Account Preferences panel is used to set the account that you log into the website with. You can have multiple accounts, but only one account per transporter. The Connected Desktop and Transporter provide two types of folders. Local folders. A copy of your files is stored on both your computer and transporter. When you edit or create a file on your computer, it is automatically updated on transporter. Remote folders. These store files only on transporter. These are useful if you have a lot of data and don't want to have all of it on your computer. Example, a notebook with a small SSD drive that can't hold all your files. Syncing folders are indicated with a check in the checkbox. An empty checkbox indicates network access to the folder. You can change from one folder type to the other by simply clicking on the checkbox. Converting to a syncing folder will copy all the data to your computer from Transporter. Converting to a network folder will erase all files stored on your computer. Clicking the Wi-Fi tab will allow you to set up Wi-Fi on your Transporter. Consult the website for more information. The Check for Updates item will check to see if there are updates to the connected desktop app. If there are, you will be prompted to download and install it.